Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create catalog price rules in Magento 2. Catalog price rules can be used to offer products to buyers at a discounted price based on a set of defined conditions. Catalog price rules do not use coupon codes as they are triggered before a product is placed into the shopping cart. For example, you can define a set of conditions for a price rule that when met automatically displays products with a special or promotional price. Defined rule properties might include customer groups, product categories, a discount amount or percentage, product color, product size or just about any product attribute set up in your store. You can also set the start and end dates for a price rule that automatically starts and stops a promotion on the dates you define in the rule. The properties of the saved route can be updated or modified as required. So in today's uh, video tutorial, we'll be seeing the examples where we can create the catalog price rules for the category and the product attribute and set the respective discounts accordingly there for the, cat uh, for the category and the product attribute uh, thing. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm on one of the categories that's the men watches at the storefront. And here we have applied the category uh, catalog price rule and that is applicable. And we have uh, provided a discount of $12. So that's why this particular product for $100 is available for $88. And this one that's for $102 is available for $90 there itself. Now if I go to any of the uh, any other categories, uh, for example the main category there that's the watches, here you can see the catalog price is not applicable on any of the products there, right? But on the men's watches category that I've created, I have applied the catalog price rule of a fixed uh, discount of $12 there. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how we can do it for a particular product attribute as well. So for example, here we are having a product t-shirt and a test product there. So what I'll do is I'll just open the t-shirt product here. And here you can see that it has a product attribute that's the color new, that's the red color, right? Now let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. So to create the catalog price rule, what you need to do is you need to navigate to marketing and then catalog price rule under promotions. This would bring a complete list of catalog price rules that you've already created. So the one that we were checking out initially for the category was that we had applied a fixed discount of $12 on the particular category that's the men watches. And here we are getting a $12 discount on each of the products within this particular category, right? So here you can see that I've created the $10 off on category. Actually, it should be $12 off and the start and the end dates for the particular catalog price rule are visible here. It's active and it's on the main website. So now if I open this particular uh, catalog price rule for the category there, it should be basically $12. Let me correct this out. $12 off on category. Here you can see that I have set the rule name as 12, uh, dollar off on the category for the admin to understand. I've made this uh, rule as active. I've set the website where this rule would be applicable. That would be the main website. I've chosen the customer groups for which this particular price rule would be applicable to. The start and end date for the particular catalog price rule that I've created. And I've set the priority for the same. Then under the conditions, here you can see that I've chosen the condition as category. If the category is number four, so from here, I've selected the category as men's watches. So if the category is men's watches, then what action we need to do? We need to apply a fixed amount discount and the fixed amount discount is $12. And we are discarding the subsequent rules thereafter. 
right so that's why we are getting a 12 dollar discount here on the men's watches category itself and all of the products within this particular category would get a particular discount of 12 dollars there so that's how easily you can create a catalog price rule for the category there now basically uh, you can do it for the attribute set as well for category and for product attributes as well so here you can see that we have a color new attribute as well now let's do one thing let me uh, disable this uh, this uh, category catalog price rule and let me save it up and then after what I'll do is I'll enable the red color product attribute discount of hundred dollars so here what I've done is I've created a rule name with the rule name that red color product attribute if the product is having a red color attribute then a discount of hundred dollars should be there let's enable it up I've set it for the main website it's for the not logged in customers I've given the date range start and the end date of the catalog price rule under the condition I've chosen if the color is red we can choose it between red blue or green so what I've done here is I've gone with this attribute sorry I'm not uh, I, I did not have to choose the attribute set we can choose the attribute set as well so from here what I've done is under product attribute here I've chosen the color new if the color new is for example red color blue color or the green color if any of these product attributes are associated with any of the selected one is uh, associated with the product then we'll be setting up the actions that should be performed on the product there so if the color new product attribute is having the red color for the product then what we need to do is we need to apply a fixed amount discount of hundred dollars to the same so the uh, under the actions we can apply as percentage of the original apply as fixed amount adjust final price to this percentage or we can adjust final price to the discounted value as well as per the requirement there so for now i have set it as apply as fixed amount there and then i'll just save this particular uh, uh product attribute catalog price rule and i'll tap here on the apply rules so this red color product attribute discount of hundred dollars is active now if i refresh the front end we can see that the particular uh, would one would be applicable to the base product itself or the, or the product with the red attribute so if i open this product here you can see that now it's for only two dollars the regular price was one zero two dollars now we are getting a discount of hundred dollars on this and the price of this particular product is only two dollars right now because this particular product when created had, had the product attribute as color new and the uh, value that was selected was red and we had created the catalog price tool here wherein we had chosen the condition as if the color new is red then the action would be apply as fixed amount for hundred dollars so the same is visible here hundred dollar discount has been applied now if I go to the men watches you'll see that only this product that's the t-shirt would be having the particular discount applied and not on the other product that was there in the category itself so this other product the test product is for hundred dollars still and this one is getting it a hundred dollar discount and it is, it's for two dollars only so that's how easily you can create the catalog price rules from the admin backend panel as per your requirement there and yes that was much about how to create the catalog price rules in magento 2 and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.